Hey loves, I have teamed up with my friend Diana today to bring you a Jessie J flashlight music video inspired makeup look. I chose the more natural, surprisingly, <laughs> natural look of the two with just a wing liner, some natural blush, and some pinky nude lips. My lips are a little more pink than nude. But she chose the much more dramatic look and let's take a peek at her look right now. gorgeous look right definitely go check out her channel and make sure to subscribe to her and let her know that I sent you let's get started all right loves I've already primed my face with the spackle primer from Laura Geller and now I'm going to use my new favorite foundation I'm obsessed this is the CC plus illumination from it cosmetics and now I'm going to conceal my under eyes using the Maybelline master conceal it's going to create the triangle shape to also highlight, put a little bit down my nose, a little bit on my chin, and now I'm going to blend that out. Now I'm going to set all of that concealer. My hands are totally dead purple. I didn't feel very well and I took a nap and slept on my hand. <laughs> so um, now I'm just setting all of that concealer with the Physicians Formula Correcting Powder in Translucent. Okay, now I'm going to do my brows off camera. I use the Tarte Emphasize Br Brow Pencil in Taupe. If you want an updated brow routine, just let me know down below. And now we're going to dip into the Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D. I'm just going to take this light brown shade and buff it into our crease. Back and forth, it's not too precise. You didn't have very much shadow in the crease there, but it was a little something. I'm going to drag that down underneath my lower lash line just to create that shadow. I just feel like it adds a little something. And now we're going to use this cream shade and highlight our brow bone. And then we're going to take this really light cream shade. It's almost white, but not quite. And we're going to pack that onto the lid. You can also use your fingertip if you want to concentrate the color more. I believe I ended up going in later with my fingertip. These are actually pretty pigmented. Totally loving this palette. And now I'm just going in with a little bit more of that light medium brown shade and blending it into the crease just to deepen up and replace any pigmentation I may have lost with that white shade. And now I'm going to line my eyes. I'm going to do a winged liner, which was definitely a staple in her makeup look in this video. I'm using the Osmosis Liner. Totally loving this. You can still win this. I still have that video up. I'll link it down below if you want to win this liner. But it's so good. It's just super black and stays on all day. My eyes were watering earlier and it totally did not budge. Amazing. Totally loving it. Watch this. Whoop! It's one of those liners that you can just swoop on and it pretty much creates the entire wing for you and you just fill it in and then fix the inner corner. Ugh, my voice got a little raspy right there. <laughs> and now I'm going to curl my lashes. These are just BH Cosmetics lash curlers. Totally get the job done though. And then we're going to apply some mascara and I'm using the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara. This is my favorite for my upper lashes and I usually use the MAC Giga Black Lash on my bottom lashes but I have run out, but it just arrived in the mail, so I'm super excited. Definitely my favorite for the bottom lashes. And now we're gonna apply some lashes. These are Kara Lashes in number 82. I found these on shopmissay.com. They were a dollar. How amazing is that? They're so good. Love the lashes on shopmissay.com. She definitely was sporting some lashes, so I feel like this is definitely a must lashes and liner. That's what you need for this look. And now I'm just gonna Put some nude liner on my waterline just to open up my eyes a little bit more. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil in Light. And now I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Pencil and Tight Line. This is in black. This kind of helps your lashes blend in with your liner. Now I'm going to go back into that really light, almost white cream shade and highlight my inner corners just to help open up my eyes a little bit extra. This is the Wet n Wild Contour Kit in Dolce de Leche, the lighter one. And I'm just going to contour a little bit, not too much. She didn't have a lot of contouring going on, but she definitely has those sculpted cheekbones. And just a little bit down my nose, just to add a little extra dimension to my face. Now we're going to go in with blush. This is Makeup Revolution Blush in Now. Just kind of a pinky natural shade. I'm just going to blend that onto my cheeks. She definitely had some natural, natural but blushed looking cheeks going on. When I put this blush on, it was a little more pink than I wanted. I wanted a little more neutral, so I added a little bit of this blush for Makeup Revolution as well in Treat. But whoa. I even tapped off the brush and look how pigmented that I was. <laughs> My face totally explains it. So I just kept putting it on and then I went back in in a minute and I blended it all out so it wasn't quite so intense. <laughs> See, pigmented what? <laughs> it's 
So I'm just blending that with a clean brush. Just kind of blending that together with a contour too so it's a little more seamless. And of course I have to go on with my Becca highlighter in Moonstone. It is my life. It is so good. So just highlighting my cheekbones and a little bit down my nose just to bring some light to the face. Now we're going to move on to lips. I chose to use the Cake Liner by ColourPop. I forgot how orangey this is. It's very coral. But I decided to go a little more pink than nude for this look. And now I'm going to use the Melted Lipstick by Too Faced in Melted Peony. And then I'm going to top it with a Buxom Gloss in Karen. So I went super pink with this look. Definitely choose either a pink or nude lip, whatever suits you. You do you. And of course I had to add some hoops. Girls sport some hoops in the video. And you know I love my hoops. <laughs> Alright loves, this is completed look. I hope you like it. Let me know if you like celebrity inspired looks down below. And if you do, who do you want to see next? Definitely go check out Dinah's channel. She's super sweet. She loves Makeup Revolution. You have to check her out. Go subscribe and let her know that I sent you. Let me know what you want to see next. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!